Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the common question that is nothing but SVM classifier. So basically, what is SVM classifier? So SVM classifier is nothing but a support vector machine, guys. Okay. So it is a classification algorithm which comes under supervised learning, guys. Because of the input data which we are going to give is a pre labeled data so basically we will be saying that this is the shape this is the shape this is the thing like that we'll be defining those things and only then we will be giving guys okay so it comes under supervised learning okay so initially you will be giving the data set so here we took an example of two symbols that is nothing but a square and a circle so whatever items is having four sides it will be pushing into one side and whatever are having circles like no sides they'll be pushing on to the other side right yes so initially we will be giving the data set guys okay so this data set is a given to the training model okay we'll be doing the training model so once the training is done the model which we are going to design is called as a predictor guys okay so this predictor on a new input data of unknown symbols it will be giving you the output right yes so in this way it will work guys so basically i hope everyone got some basic idea right the flow okay Okay, so here always the data set which is input is nothing but a supervised learning data. Okay, so only training is done. We can test it with new data. So basically here training is done and here testing is done guys. In simple words you can say. Okay, whether it is working accurately or not we can test there. Okay, so this is the back end how it is going to work guys. Okay, yes. So basically whenever a particular shape is coming, it will assume a line in between. Okay, and based on its differences between those two shapes, it will be pushing one onto the other side and the other onto the other side, guys. Okay, so if you observe here, all the circles are one side and all the squares are on one side, right? Yes. Okay, so here, how much far are they? So how much far, like if they are this much close, they are not that much accurate, guys. Whereas if they are this much far, they are more accurate. So as the distance increases, the accuracy also increases. Okay, so, so to predict, we always place the data at the at the right timing time of a training so at the right of the time training we'll be getting data right so we'll be placing that data in the graph okay so in a 2d plane and separates the circles and squares okay so if the distance between them is a higher means it is accurate with high so basically high distance is nothing but high accuracy okay yes so now let us go through some terminology guys so basically these two objects will be divided by a single line at all right so that is nothing but hyperplane guys okay yes and for this hyperplane, you will be drawing two parallel lines, which are almost touching to the first items, guys, like shortest distance item. So basically, these two are having the minimum distance, right? Yes. So between those distances, we will be touching these lines. And these lines are called as margins, I think so, guys. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, sorry. This length is called as margin. So this total length is called as margin. And this side is a D plus and this side is a D minus, guys, length. Okay, D plus plus D minus is equals to total length that is nothing but margin okay so the separator line between the two classes to separate okay is called hy hyperplane two more lines are drawn parallel to the closest of the classes and d1 d1 d plus and d minus and some of them is nothing but margin i think there is no name for that particular line i think so sorry for that guys okay yes so the nearest or the closest two points are called as a vectors okay yes so these things are nothing but it is a circle class and this is quadrilateral class guys okay yes so this is a how the svm classifier works so basically it will create a 2d plane graph in which it will be separating each and every object into different different groups and it will be identifying the new thing so if I assume that a circle came in between so it will be initially at this position it will observe okay so what are the properties of the circle it is having no sides it is not having exactly four sides so it will move in this way and based on the differences between them the distance will also increase guys right so if you give an exact circle it will automatically it will be at the end if you give some kind of confusing a bit uh, not a round circle it will be identifying it as a square also sometimes right yes so in this way it will work guys so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this svm classifier so in the next lecture we'll be going through the review of this unit like what are the important like every question is important guys because there are really at least a minimum of seven topics in this unit guys so you can just go through them in an hour right yes so in the next lecture we're just going through a review and after that we'll be starting the fourth unit guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching